Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. And this is a car that we have here with a code P1151. Um, you can check the code yourself. Um, and what it is, it's the issue, it's not liking the mixture or the actual first oxygen sensor is not liking the mixture that's coming towards the exhaust. Um, in this case, um, it's actually a first thing that you need to guide yourself to is there are several possible reasons why you could have this code. It's the long-term fuel trims is what the code is about in the first place. But um, a lot of people have fixed this by replacing the uh, fuel gas cap back there. And if it's old, if it's not making a tight connection, sometimes that will help a lot. Or in, in other cases, the um, you could get some sea foam and also get it into your uh, fuel tank. Also, you can use a fuel injector cleaner because one of the problems could be a little bit of clogged up, maybe fuel filter or uh, fuel injectors because supposedly you not you may not be getting enough pressure um, that's kind of a a little bit deeper into this topic if you want to check fuel pressures but i believe the first thing would be for you to change or check uh well actually change the fuel cap then get some seafoam fuel injector cleaner see what happens you need to raise the cold again this and that and then the next thing would be uh, check actually for vacuum leaks because that's another thing on this long-term fuel trim is that the car is sensing that you have a vacuum leak meaning that you're getting too much air so it's trying to put uh, uh, extra gas so in order to check um, for vacuum uh, leaks you're gonna need to use one of these uh, uh, smoke machines and actually I forgot to plug this here it's this um, you need to use compressed air uh, some machines don't need compressed air this one needs um, you set it up here and I had to, to press this button to actually get this light on so I can get start um, I can get smoke into the system um, um, you need to fill this uh, these um, smoke machines with special uh, smoke detection oil so I'm gonna wait for a few seconds you always have to uh, plug this system into one of the evap lines uh, it's a evap line or one of the lines going to the purge valves to get this smoke inside your um, upper system and okay I actually have this is general for every car it's not gonna matter what car you're doing it's gonna do the same thing um, I actually had I discovered two, two uh, leaks so one leak I've been trying to uh, kind of fix for a while but I didn't um, it wasn't affecting me a lot. There's a line here. Obviously, this is the back of the head or the intake. This line, it, it, it's a short line going to this um, dead end here. Um, and I just realized that I had a broken seal right here. That's the seal that was going to this line here. So I'm actually going to bypass this line because I don't really understand why this is this specifically is a Volkswagen. I don't know why that this is this line. It's just a dead, dead end, ep empty line. It was attached to my other line here. So I'm going to um, do this cap here. And then I'm going to cap it. But I also have a, uh, another leak. So if I do, if I cap this. Uh, let me put a small cap so I can show you. I've discovered another strange leak here. No, this is not going to work. Yeah, you need to have... Um, you need to have, you need to have, no, this one has a hole. I need to tap this. No, it's too small. Let me get a cap so I can cap this. Okay, guys, I capped that thing in the back. Um, you don't need to have one of these. <laughs> Unfortunately, this is a collection of caps and all these different thing taps from different engines that we've gotten and parts but they do uh they serve in this case a lot they help a lot so here we go we have another leak 
I've never realized that there could be a leak right here. That's the, um, it's called active. I think it was called active something intake uh, because this, it has a flapper inside and it's leaking a lot. So this could be, it could have been a small leak that I may have had through the times. I don't remember ever smoking this car, but now it's affecting, you know, and giving this 1151 Mini that I'm getting extra, um, um, extra air inside the engine. So I'm gonna have to disassemble this and see where, what's going on with the, those seals, what seal is leaking in there. But as you can see, it's pretty kind of easy to diagnose this actually, uh, this code P1151. There were some people then on this specific engine that have it on, on this Volkswagen, the seal, the seals on the injectors would leak sometimes. Um, so in my case, I discovered two, I'm gonna try to fix these. Uh, but that's the advisory or guidance to check uh, for this P1151. You just need to find your, your vacuum leaks. If you don't have vacuum leaks, then it, it would be something else in the matter of uh, maybe not enough gas getting to your uh, fuel system. But first thing, you know, always check. Uh, you know, need to use, of course, one of these uh, smoke machines to, uh, to understand or to see try to see what's going on with your vacuum system okay guys thanks a lot for watching please subscribe and see you next in the next video thank you